Hi, my name is Gary Metzbauer. I'm a deputy chief in the Baltimore City Fire Department. And we're here to show off our new ladder truck that we just purchased from Pierce. We uh, currently bought two of these trucks. As you can see, there's no numbers on the side right now, but this will be truck number 29. And the one we're getting tomorrow or looking at tomorrow will be truck 20. They're similar. Uh, we have also placed two more on order. Things we like about this truck is the TAC4 suspension. Uh, Baltimore City is known for some of the roughest streets around. Um, bumpy streets, you know, just uh, makes for a bad ride to have a solid front axle. So uh, the guys like the TAC4 suspension, it also gives us a better turning radius. Something else that Pierce worked with us on was uh, the, the ride height. Uh, we have older stations in our, uh, in our city and some of these stations date back to the early 1900s. And uh, we've actually had trucks in the past that we transfer from one end of the city to, to the other and back into the station only to take their tiller cab off. So uh, what Pierce did for us is they engineered this truck to be 128 inches, no higher than 128 inches high. Currently, I believe it sits at 127. Uh, all the new Pierce ladder trucks that we're buying now will fit in any station that currently has a tiller truck. This, will be, this truck here will be replacing uh, truck 29's old 1995 LTI truck. Uh, and then truck 20 will be replacing a 1996 LTI truck. We went with the barrier doors, which can go over top of a parked car if need be. All the doors on the side are roll up. Once again, very tight streets. A lot, not a lot of room to open doors to uh, get equipment out. So inside what we've done, we opted for vinyl seats rather than cloth seats because members come in contact with blood and other things and we, we found that the vinyl seats are just easier to maintain. In here we also have a big medic compartment to keep all of the medical supplies. In Baltimore, you know, our, everyone that rides a truck or an engine has to be an EMT and in several cases we have paramedics. So we keep all our uh, medical equipment in this compartment here. One, one of the other things that we like about Pierce is the ladder getting to the tiller cab. Uh, some of our trucks in the past had ladders that were further in the front. Tillerman would have to walk up, walk across to get into the tiller cab. And it was just a lot of traveling when it comes to snow and ice. So having the, the ladder right at the tiller cab door, you get up and you're right inside. This truck also has a pre-piped waterway with adjustable uh, nozzle at the end which makes getting ladder pipe operations in a lot faster. At the rear of the truck, we have a backup camera. Uh, most of our accidents are backing up, so uh, the backup camera should help alleviate some of the accidents and, and backing. Your compartmentization for your ladders, everything right at the rear. We do have one ladder on the side, a 24-foot lightweight ladder. This is generally the type of ladder that's carried on engine companies. It's a, it's a fast ladder to get to, and it's a lighter weight. Also, at, at the end of the waterway, we have a two and a half inch opening that uh, you could hook a two and a half inch line to, and basically you could use your ladder as a standpipe and take it all the way up to uh, whatever floor you're operating on. It has a shut off right on the waterway. Compartment-wise, we have large compartments, all with LED lighting inside. This, this one here goes all the way through to the other side. Pull out tray. Another large compartment. Once again, pull out tray all the way through. Power lines all connected, pre-connected. And rapid intervention compartment. Once again, it goes all the way through to the other side. One of the other things we did is we went to have uh, a pre for our pre pipe waterway. Back in the old days, we used to have to have a Siamese on the ground and run the hose all the way up. This way, a company can come put a five inch supply line right inside 
and supply the waterway right here. As you can see, this cab is very open. Our previous trucks, it was pretty much the, the guys that sat in the back were secluded from the two in the front and the officer would have to shout through all kinds of things to have communications with the ones in the back. We do have intercom systems with this truck, but the guys really are gonna like the open cab compared to the older models that we have. This truck also has upgraded lighting for scene safety. Uh, scene lighting is very bright. It's gonna work well on accident, on accident scenes, also to illuminate the highway when you're out on the highway. The front has a, a spot beam, a floodlight, very bright. Um, this one on this side would, would probably move more traffic than any other light on this piece of apparatus. We also have two sirens. We've got the federal siren, the electronic siren. That way if uh, one siren would stop, you don't have to put the vehicle out of service due to lack of a siren.